Hello YouTube, and welcome to the first episode of Cooking in Third Life, where I've already started to begin with some preparations by already heating up most of the dough pieces. And so before I begin, I'm going to give you a quick preview of what we're going to try and do. So we're going to try and do this bunker cake idea uh, for Solidarity Gaming, uh, considering his death involved him dying in a bunker after the big massive explosion uh, that Scar set off, I believe, in the in like the latest week, but if you're watching this later down the line, uh, it might that that might change for you. But anyways, we are in the uh, cakes and cookies update kitchen because we're making a cake called the bunker cake. And so now that all the doughs are done, we go ahead and we can go put these on the table. Also, prepare your ears, as these will be pretty loud. But if I can manage to place all of these decently well, we should... Uh, oh, okay, it's up there. We should be able to decently well set up this cake. Now, if we put this... Now, instead of uh, an earlier rendition... I am actually going to do a little bit of prep work for each layer before I go ahead and start the main thing because I did kind of a bit of an issue with the first uh, few recording sessions. So that's why I've taken to doing a little bit of pre uh, preparation for this attempt. Which I think is good because trial and error is pretty good. Might be a little bit frustrating at first, but we can get this done then it'll be all worth it so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more lime curd dressing just to kind of address the desert theme also uh, I forgot to do it there but you know we can have it every other layer except now I kinda don't want to do it there so we're gonna do it into the test cake because I kind of want to implement this uh, strawberry jam over here instead because I'm going to turn this top layer into a bit of a button, shall we say. It's going to be pretty red. Okay, I don't need any more, but... Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. I'm guessing we need a little bit more. There we go. To make this nice red button on top. Because that is going to represent the explosion it happened, even though it was a lever. I, I think a big red button on top just kind of fits better. So now, like I did in the previous renditions, I'm going to do a layer of banana around it. As you can see, there was even a banana still left over for some of the previous trials. It looks like we're out of banana, so it looks like we're going to have to set aside an order to just crank in a few more bananas and boom that was some quick one day shipping if only you got lego orders that fast but now with this nice uh, squarish shape around the button we can begin to add a few details uh, like these X's which I find uh, make a uh, make great use of those like signs around like the danger zone as uh, Scar would put it so I would like to incorporate this now we're gonna get into the solidarity portion a little bit further but we are going to first of all set up the scene which I feel like for a cake is probably the better direction to go with and I would say that solidarity didn't really play too much of a role in this like most recent episode don't get me wrong his uh his presence on third life was good but it wasn't really the best compared to like most people but i think his duo with uh smager or uh that's a long name was a really good combo in the end uh, and so as of recording the smager is still alive so let's see what happens uh, this Tuesday when the new episode uh, comes out. Oh yeah. So now I want to go ahead and add some of these uh, 
sand droplets. Uh, even though this isn't sand, but it'll do the job nice. And it gives a bit of a texture to like the ground, which I think looks really good. Makes it so that not everything looks the same. Oh, okay, well, that's not what I was planning on doing. Oh. For rotating plate, it's not very good at rotating. So we are going to try and best guess over here in these back sections. I might as well go around just to kind of make sure that we get everything right over here. Now that's looking pretty good so far. But I feel like I want to add a little bit of dunes, which is why I'm going to put these hazelnuts on top. I feel like that'll add a nice bit of uh, variety, even though some of it might get onto the button. That's pretty fine, though. Considering it won't really detract too much, it probably will just add. But you want to have a little bit of flavor, because considering this is like a food series mainly. When I care more about the taste than uh, the aesthetics, even though the aesthetics are like a big portion of these uh, of this series. Now with these last sprinklings. Yeah, well, it looks like we're gonna need one more. Because we need this corner over here. We are going to try and see. And do like an outline for the button. Inside, we are going to try. I'm going to try my best to draw an arrow. that is how he died he got shot to death which uh, sounds a bit painful here but it is minecraft so it's a little bit forgivable also i have no clue where i would put those y's and i'm using these y's as a way to kind of represent uh the two arrows fired even though now that kind of looks like a dead body which i don't know kind of off-putting but i think that about does it. So if we go to the camera now, we can go and take a picture of our beauty. And there we go. There we go. Now we are going to go, go and put this uh, over here. Probably on this tray. And we can have it for the next time that we enter the cakes and cookies. So thanks for watching and see you in episode two.